In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to get environment variables in C. It's actually a very simple practice, but it can be tricky when talking about certain functions. Okay, so to start off, we're going to start with the function getENV. So there is a function called getENV inside the stdlib.h header, and this guy just takes in the name of the environment variable that you might want. So let's say we want the path environment variable. It's a commonly used environment variable. And let's say we want to print it on the screen. Well, to do that, what we can do is simply say uh, char pointer, let's say env variable equals that. And let's print it, print f the value of our environment variable is percent %s. I'm going to add two backslash n's. I'm going to say here n variable. Right. Now, if I try to launch this, you will notice that the value of our environment variable is usr, lib, code server, whatever, and uh, a lot of other paths that might have been added to the path environment variable by our system or by ourselves. Cool. So we know how to get a environment variable. Now, let's say we want to use our own environment variable for whatever reason uh, we need to I don't know, let's say we need an API key for whatever service we're using. So let's say we have here a variable called um, API key, right? And if we try to launch this without setting anything in the background, well, you'll notice that we just simply get to know. That is simply because printf, when it sees percent %s and uh, this is actually null, it simply prints out null. That means that this environment variable returns null whenever it cannot find the environment variable with the name specified here. So we should probably just check if environment variable is null, then uh, let's say printf no environment variable was found. Okay, and let's also return, let's return an error code. Amazing, so now that we, now if we run this, you will notice that I just get this message printed on the screen. So if we set this API key variable, let's say API underscore key equals the string test, why not? And if we try to launch this, you will notice that no variable was found. And uh, why is that? Why did that happen? Now that's a bit peculiar, right? We have here API underscore key and we do have API underscore key here. So everything looks fine in terms of the code. But uh, also if we echo dollar sign API underscore key, we also get the test value that we set up top. What's what's going on here? Well, one thing to note is that environment variables are passed from the parent process to the child process. Okay, so that's that's fine, but not all of them, only the ones that are marked as such. And since here we are running the main process from our terminal, well, who's the parent process? The parent process is our terminal, our shell that we are in right now. And the child process is actually our program, our C program, okay? Because of that, well, um, we have set the environment variable on the parent process, but we didn't actually mark it to be passed on to the child processes. To do so, we can use the export command. So we basically uh, have the same line of code, we just prefix it with export. And if we hit enter and launch the program now, you will notice that now we are actually seeing the uh, value that we wanted from our program. Now I'm gonna restart this shell so that we start from a clean slate again. I'm gonna say exit and enter in dash again. Um, and now if we run echo API key, we shouldn't get any result, which we don't, so perfect. What I want here is uh, a different way of passing this environment variable. So some people actually like doing this so API key equals test and then space. And then you simply uh, type in your script in which in our case is just running our main program. And if we run this, of course it also works, but also you don't have the API key value inside the parent process. So in this case, we just passed an environment variable directly to the child process without having it in the parent process. We don't have to declare it as, you know, being passed from our parent to the child process. This is if, if you don't want to use export. And note here that it's important to just have a space in between these two. If you if you actually have it, uh, have a semicolon in between those two, they are going to be treated as different processes. So it's going to first 
executes that first process, which just simply assigns the uh, assigns this uh, API key environment variable the value test to it, and then it's gonna run the program. And of course, if we launch it like this, we're gonna get no environment variable was found on the screen. Now, of course, this is not the intended way of using environment variables, but sometimes when you try to implement these, you want to quickly test them. And uh, this is a quick way of testing them, but you have to make sure that you understand the, the little issues that may come up from uh, doing this. So usually, of course, you're gonna have a .env file or you're gonna add a, a environment variable in a bash profile or whatever suits you. Now, another aspect regarding environment variables uh, that I want to tackle in this video is getting a list of all the environment variables that you have. For whatever reason, you might want to look at that. You might want to find uh, a certain specific environment variable that some other sub process is using. There are many, many reasons for doing that. And I want to show you how this is done because so far we've only seen this get env function and this get env function works on every operating system is inside the standard library. You don't have to worry about it, but getting a list of all of them, all of the environment variables, it's a bit tricky because it's nowhere in the standard. So we're going to have to use whatever is available on most operating systems and most implementations. So we're going to use NFP, so char pointer NFP. And this NFP variable is uh, actually null terminated at the end. So the last string at the end is actually a null. So you can iterate over it perfectly fine. And uh, let's try to use it in our little program. And uh, let's start a little bit from scratch. I'm gonna remove all this here and remove this get env call. So before we start using this NFP variable, I want to first give you an overview of how it actually looks like in memory. So this NFP is simply an array. So it has a whole bunch of places in memory that we can set. And those places in memory are, a, are of type char pointer. So they are a pointer to a character that's basically called a string in C. Uh, this basically, the, all these, all these uh, strings and their, their values are just key equals value. So for example, path equals and whatever path we had in the, in the beginning of this video, that would be one of the strings. And uh, the second one would be, I don't know, let's say Java underscore home equals and the path to uh, where our Java installation is. Um, and the last element that's very important to note is actually going to be null. The pointer itself is null, so we can check for that. Perfect. Now that we know how this NP uh, variable works, we can actually use it. So we can say here n variable equals NP of zero. So we're gonna get the first one. We, we know we have an NP of zero because if we have no environment variables, then the first element will be just null. Okay, so we will have actually one element in that array, in that NFP array. So that's perfect, we can use that. And uh, well, now that we have this, what we can do is we can check in a while loop while environment variable is not null. So while environment variable is not null, basically that means that if it is null, just keep over the whole while uh, loop. If it isn't null, if it's some environment variable there, then we can, I don't know, let's print it on the screen. Let's say print f percent s. I'm gonna do backslash n once, okay. And uh, here I'm just gonna say n variable, okay. That's one thing. And then what do we have to do? Well, we have to go to the next index, and for that we kind of need an index. We are gonna add int i equals zero, and uh, actually to be more correct, I'm gonna say n p of i, perfect. And then here at the end I'm gonna say environment variable equals n p of i. All right, perfect. And then of course, at the end of the while loop, we should increment this i, so I'm gonna say i plus plus, I'm gonna say n variable equals n p, oh, not that, n p of i. All right, and if I try to launch this, we should get all the environment variables in my, well, in my virtual machine here, perfect. And of course, if you want to actually get the value of a specific environment variable uh, that uh, you need, well, then you have to parse this n variable because this n variable format is key equals value. So we're gonna have to do, let's say, I'm gonna include here string h, I'm gonna use here str talk, it's 
say of uh, our string so and the variable and then we want to simply search for equals and technically we shouldn't have any equals in the <laughs> in the key or the value of the environment variable so we're gonna have only one of that and here we can actually just say a uh, char pointer key equals that and then let's get also the value value equals basically the same but we're gonna be we're gonna actually pass in here null so it uses the same string and uh, well let's say that we don't want to print all of them let's say we want to just print our api key environment variables if i say if um let's say str cmp let's say key and if if our key is api key right then let's print f its value okay so api key value is percent s back so sh and let's say twice and value like this all right and now if we launch this like so now of course we didn't get anything on the screen so because i didn't add it in my uh in my shells environment variables that are exported but let's do that right now so we can say export api key equals uh, test yeah and now if we try to launch this through here we're gonna get api key value is test and we can change it however we, we would like and then it does reflect it in uh, this implementation so this is very simple implementation of course you can error check and you can check it a little bit so that you know key and value actually have <laughs> something that's different than null but that's uh, beyond the scope of this video now as the last thing to point out this nfp variable is not actually standard okay so it's not in the c standard it's not going to be found on every single operating system under the sun but it is very well supported for the most part you are going to find it and if uh, that way doesn't work you're gonna have to search for other ways of doing it one more important thing to note here is that this export that i have used in the video is uh, is only for the bash shell so if you're using something like uh, fish or if you're using windows for example you're gonna have to do things a bit differently but uh, it's not really an issue as i said environment variables aren't usually don't set them on the command line you have a file in which you add them there all right that's about it for this video i hope you got something out of it uh if you do have any questions leave them down comments below or on our discord server take care bye